It's Friday. I want to show you guys the results of my honey water experiment, but first, two hearted ale bells. Yum. All right, cheers to the weekend, you guys. Gotta be. Just one bee. <laughs> oh geez. I haven't tried the honey yet, but I think I'm gonna try it. I was just kinda curious to see if they would find it because this whole thing is flowering right now. But hoping that they would just come back. I think it's time to try the honey just to see if we can get more bees. Here's my honey. Thank you, Costco. I'm not really going to measure it. I'm just going to throw it in there and maybe like two, three tablespoons, maybe. We'll see. Okay, maybe just one tablespoon. You can see the water color kind of change. And I was smelling it, and you can definitely smell the honey in the water. So I think that's good enough for now. Let's give it a try. All right, day two. So I sprayed yesterday, yesterday afternoon, and I came out earlier this morning just to check. And I'm checking right now, <laughs> no bee activity at all. So I don't know if it's working or not. Uh, my plan is to now maybe add a little bit more honey because I. I think I added like one teaspoon, essentially I didn't really measure it, I just kind of squeezed it in. But um, the water did change color, um, so maybe I'll just add a little more and spray and see if that works. I mean part of my problem here is that I actually have a um, like a navel orange tree which is like right here and it's flowering. So, I mean, I see bees here. I mean, not all over the place, but I've seen them on this tree. And I also have a, um, like a, is this like honeysuckle or something like that? So, um, so I don't know if they're, I mean, I, I've heard of people who have a lot of citrus close to their avocados and having problems because the bees tend to hit up the citrus first because it's a lot sweeter. I mean if I was a bee I'd go after the sweetest thing so makes sense but I mean it's flowering. I, I, I'm optimistic. Let's see what happens. I'll, I'll just do a little bit more spraying maybe this afternoon and see what of course a heavier dose maybe and see what happens. Found all my bees near over here. This is like a bottle brush tree. It's flowering like crazy. And just standing here, you can hear like a buzzing. Like the bees are just going crazy over it. Go back to the avocados, bees. Come on. Alright, let's try this one handed.
Was I maybe a tablespoon? So last night when I had this out here, I was cooking and a bee did fly right up to it and started smelling it. So, I mean, I know it works <laughs> to attract bees. Something new I'm trying also, I'm doing this liquid fertilizer, so. Definitely looks darker, so. Alright, so we sprayed a little bit. My kids wanted to do some spraying, so they had a lot of fun doing that. And we'll see what happens. I don't know. I saw a bee like a minute ago. But. So I did see a couple fly up and they were smelling the flowers. So I guess <laughs> I just gotta work on my expectations for what's supposed to really happen. Maybe just uh, it tells them, hey, I'm here. I just thought that they would just go crazy and like keep on coming back and forth and back and forth, but that doesn't seem to be what's going on. But at least I saw a couple of bees just checking out the flowers, so yeah, maybe in about a month I'll give you guys another update, but I mean, so far, conclusion, inconclusive. Anyways, talk to you guys later. So on my bacon, I only got two fruit, and I'm going to try to get in there so you can see. The two are actually really good size. I mean, that's a nice size bacon right there. There's another one right there about the same size. So, something else that's kind of interesting when I was digging in here. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Okay. I think I found it. Here it is. Look at that. How cute. That's so cute. Alright. Well, well, this is supposed to be a seedless. So... If anybody's looking for a seedless avocado, here it is. I got one on my bacon. So although I agree with my conclusion that I had earlier, uh, you guys just saw some footage from when I did the experiment like earlier in the year, but I essentially agree with the, my conclusion. But I, I would say that the one thing that I could note is that my uh, avocado grove or mini avocado grove is really young so that's probably the reason why I didn't get much fruit to stick so I'm not sure if I'm going to try to do some honey water next year um, considering just not even bothering with the honey water is probably something that um, isn't probably going to work for me but on the flip side it's like maybe I should just do it just in case right so what do you guys think is it important to continue to do the honey water thing or just don't even bother I'm kind of on the side of not even bothering with it because I do have bees and as long as the bees are around um, you know we just hope that they're pollinating and also as long as um, the trees are flowering you know we got a good chance of you know having some fruit so let's just make sure that our trees flower and I kind of have a plan for that so I bought some um, some fertilizer that's supposed to help with blooming, so I'll apply some of that probably at the beginning of next year. Um, as soon as I do it, I'll do a video so you guys can see. And for the folks following along, you can maybe apply it at the same time as I do, and then hopefully we see good results together. All right. Anyways, you guys have a good weekend. Talk to you guys later. See ya.